Yannick back for Yannick's Photo School and today we're going back into Photoshop and I'll be uh, going through split toning in Photoshop. I just recently did it for Lightroom and as you saw in Lightroom it's pretty user friendly and uh, very easy to do. It is as well in Photoshop but uh, I got a few more steps to take. Now, the reason why I'm doing this in Photoshop is a couple of you guys wrote in and said, well, that's fine and dandy for Lightroom, but we don't have Lightroom yet, so uh, is this possible in Photoshop? Now, if you have uh, Photoshop CS4, um, you can do that in ACR. Um, it's basically, uh, you'll have the same sliders and settings as in Lightroom, and you can do your split toning that way. If you're like me and you're on an older version of Photoshop, I'm on CS3, um, you'll have to do it within Photoshop and not ACR. And this is what we're going to be doing today. So let's get right to it. Now, the first thing we need to do is uh, turn this image into black and white. And uh, we want to keep the color space RGB. And to see that, just go into image mode. And you'll see here, RGB is ticked off. We want to keep it there. So we don't want to grayscale our image. So just for fun, there's many ways you can change your image to black and white. But I'll just use desaturate under adjustments here. There we go. Now uh, we can adjust it if we want or not. Let me just. Uh, uh, actually, I'll leave it like that. Now, once we have your black and white image, we want to add our first color to the split toning. So let me bring my layers palette over, because we will be looking at that. And the next thing we need to do is going to the new layer adjustment, go into hue saturation. There we go. And what's important here is to click colorize. And you'll see a tint appear. And right now it's a blue tint. I actually like that tint, and I'll keep it. And you can play with the tint using using the hue slider, any which way you want. Let's keep it a nice blue. And you can also play with the saturation, boost it as much as you want, or not so much. 30 is good. Click OK. Now the next thing we want to do is double click on that adjustment layer. This menu will pop up, the Layer Styles menu. You're probably used to using this for drop shadows and glows and strokes and stuff. But we're going to use this box down here called Blend If. And that's really important. And we're going to use only the first slider down called This Layer. What we need to do is hold down the Alt key and just click in this section. Now, if, I, if you click on one side, I'm playing with the highlights. As you can see, there are white markers. All right, And you can see how that affects. But there's not a lot of, of bright colors on, on this image. Uh, so uh, I'll just split those up again. So it's not necessarily a good thing. But if you hold on the dark side, it's more appropriate for this, for this image. And the further away you separate those two pointers, the more blending you will occur uh, and less artifacting or strong jagged color edges will appear. So I strongly recommend that you don't keep it really, really close, but you split them up a little bit. And you can bring the second one in if you want less saturation for the blues. In this case, right here is about right for me. Click OK. And we have our first tint right now. That actually looks pretty good, but it's not split toning. So let's redo the steps for our second color. Go into Adjustment Layer, Hue Saturation, click Colorize, and choose a hue. Let's go more into a yellow sepia-ish tone. That looks good. A little bit more saturation. That looks awesome. Click OK. Again, double click on your layer. Go into the Blend If. Again, since the image is dark, I'm going to go on the dark side of the slider. Alt click get those splitters up. Now let's have a look at the image here. And let's move it so that we get our second color in, the blue color. We still want to keep some of that sepia-ish color in there. And that looks about right for me. And removing the layers palette just so that we can see everything. And if we go 
to a before black and white and our final split toned image. So from black and white to our dual split tone image. And that's how you do this lovely effect in Photoshop. This is Yannick Chauvin signing out, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.